Hi guys, it's Yolanda here and welcome back to my channel. So today is another New Mask Mondays. And today is Monday of course and we're doing another mask. So today I wasn't sure what kind of mask I'm going to do because I do have um, a couple that I can do. I wasn't sure if I wanted to do something illuminating and brightening that will radiate my skin because it is a Monday morning and I did wake up early because Manola woke up early and so I'm not really feeling like as good but I've actually been feeling like I really want to like either detox or deep clean, um, deep cleanse my skin. So I do have this detox one but I'm not sure if I want to do the detox one. I'm thinking I'm going to be doing the charcoal one. So let's just jump right into the video. So this is a charcoal wash off mask. It's a 15 minute facial therapy, deep cleansing mud based formula, unclogs pores and lifts away impurities for all skin types. Okay, so it says Global Beauty Care Premium Charcoal Wash Off Mask is infused with natural charcoal which acts like a magnet to gently draw deep dwelling dirt, oil and impurities from your clogged pores and lifts away dead skin cells without over drying. Your face will look clearer and feel softer from the inside out. So I don't have a lot of breakouts. I've been doing my since I've been doing the videos. Again, I have been doing a lot more of my makeup recently. So um, I have been getting like a mild breakout. But because I have such sensitive skin, other things like mess up my skin. Like I've been trying a new face wash, which I'm gonna need to change up my skincare routine because that's starting to mess me up. I realized that I need may need to use high-end skincare products because when using the drugstore brands none of them work for me I know it may be like cool because they're cheaper but none of the drugstore face washes facial cleansers and some stuff work for me I'm going to need to go for more high-end approach so I'm gonna have to start looking into that and changing my skincare routine. So the point of talking about that was because the facial cleanser that I was using, I actually have it right here. It was the Garnier Skin Active. So as you can see, I tried it for a bit because, and I know this was only from my usage because Ruben tried it as well and he did not like it either. He uses my skincare stuff if he doesn't like something, he will not use it at all. And he basically barely told me, maybe just two days ago, that he doesn't like the way it feels on his skin, that he has to wash it off right away. And he's more of a type of person that he washes his face when he's in the shower. So when he washes his face, he has his own little steps that he does in the shower, like washes his hair, his body, blah, 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 right? So I guess he likes to let it sit in his skin I guess while he does other steps I do the same thing when I take a shower I wash my face last or one of it's one of the last things I do but it does stay I let it sit for like two minutes and it started burning my skin and normally when I use this to wash my face I usually don't use it in the shower I usually use it outside like in the morning or in the night you know when I'm taking off my makeup or just washing my face so normally I just put it on and then I wash it off right after and this so when I did that in the shower I didn't wash it off right afterwards I let it sit for like two to three minutes like maybe only two to three minutes not even that long because it started burning my skin and after I washed it off my whole face was completely red like I always have this normal redness, I don't know if you guys can see it, I always have this normal redness right here, I mean you guys have seen it when I do my makeup, but that's like my cause for concern, but 
it was so weird like I hadn't experienced that I mean I do know the feeling it would make how it would make my face feel afterwards I just didn't know until I started researching now how to determine whether or not a skincare item is for you so there are a couple things to look out for um, I'll go more into depth if you guys want like a full-on skincare routine video which I don't even have I have to change my skincare routine anyways like if you want me to go more into depth on how to choose your skincare routine and stuff I've done a lot of research on it recently and I feel like I know a lot about it now anyway point is I don't really break out but that cleanser was making me breaking me out because the makeup so I do have little ones a lot like a lot of tiny tiny ones I can't really feel a lot anymore but I have like a couple of little tiny ones so you can't really see them so I'm not a big person who gets breakouts that often I was in the beginning of my pregnancy but because of my all my hormone changes but I haven't gotten them in a while so anyways let's move on to the mask sorry about my ranting on skincare so it says all the ingredients right there it says it's pH balanced, hypoallergenic and not tested on animals which is great to use we thoroughly clean and dry our skin which I already did right before open sachet and massage a generous amount of mud treatment evenly over face neck and body area avoiding eyes and lips okay so let's do that so we're gonna open this up Ooh, a lot comes out already I'm gonna take a brush I'm going to push some out. And start applying. So it's up to avoid the eyes and the mouth, which we're going to do. So I'm so glad that I brought New Mask Mondays back because I've been paying a lot more attention to my skincare routine and just a lot more to skincare in general. And I feel like I I like owe it to my skin, especially all the stuff that I do to it when I do the makeup. It deserves to have like the mask days. I feel like more people should do them. It, it's really good for your, your skin. So I'm glad I started doing them again. And I love trying out new masks for you guys. See, the cool thing about this mask is it comes out from the little tube. So you can use it more than once. And like last week's mask. It's, um, it was in a package, so it's not really like, you can't really go back to it unless you preserve it yourself. Now we can just close it up and we can use it again because we barely used any. There's like so much product left in here. Look at how much product is left. We barely used any and this wasn't even filled up all the way, so. So now it says leave on for approximately 15 minutes. I'm gonna set the timer now. Now we're gonna let that sit for 15 minutes. 
And which, which mask would you guys want to see next? So these are the ones that I have with me. I have the Pomegranate Crush. This is an illuminating fiber sheet mask. This one I was almost going to do today. So this one is supposed to be for brightening. There's this purifying black charcoal mask. So I did charcoal mask today. This is supposed to do the same thing, except this one's supposed to purify and brighten your skin. There's also the um, Manifet Beauty Planner Mask Mugwort Estrogen Pore Care. The, um, this one, it's supposed to help clear skin and it's pore cleansing. There's the one I was telling you guys, the detox one. So this one is supposed to detox your skin. And lastly, I have this 5-minute facial mask. This one is funny because this one is actually a primer sheet. So this can go on before doing um, your makeup. So, But it is a mask. So it says that 9 out of 10 women felt their skin smoother, brighter, clearer, and more hydrated. It's supposed to prep the skin for a flawless makeup application. So if you guys would want to see that, I could always use that. And then um, I can always do my makeup and we can see how it leaves my makeup um, feeling. So if you, um, those are the masks I have right now. I need to buy a couple more. But let me know down below which of those masks you want to see for next week's new mask Monday. So I'm gonna keep letting this dry. It's still wet. I can still feel that it's wet. Okay guys, so it's been the 20 minutes. Um, it didn't dry down completely fully within the 15 minutes. Um, oh, yeah, there's still a little bit. But those are like the parts that I last put it on. So I'm just going to wash this off off camera because this is going to be very difficult for me to wash off. So I will be back to talk about what we think. Okay, so let's go over how we feel about this. I That was the longest it's ever taken me to wash off a mask. Like, I mean, even this, I have this L'Oreal one back here that's um, a pure clay mask. This one was pretty hard to wash off when I did it, but it left me some results when I used it. This mask, I feel as though I used it, and I mean, it did clean my skin. My skin feels really dry now, though it doesn't feel like it has a lot of moisture. It feels like this, like, sucked out all my moisture. It says that it's not supposed to, it's supposed to lift away the dead skin cells without over drying your face. So, um, I feel like my skin, I have very sensitive skin, and I do have combination skin. So, I do have oily parts, and I do have dry parts to my skin. This made my whole entire face feel overly dry. Like, my T-zone doesn't even feel oily. It feels overly dry. So as far as, let's see, it says it's supposed to gently draw out deep dwelling dirt, oil, and impurities from your clogged pores. So my main concern where I have all my blackheads and pores is right here on my nose, as you can see them. Well, those are my freckles, but um, right here, right here, all, like you can see my pores right here, all of this. You can see my pores right here. These are all my pores. And then I get I have some right here and then right here in this area. And as you can see, they it didn't clean anything. Like the, it still looks, they don't look clear. I mean, my skin felt softer when I washed it earlier with my regular cleanser then after this it says it's supposed to be clearer and feel softer from the inside and out so I mean around my black like I mean around my pores it does feel a little bit soft but like on the rest of my face it doesn't it doesn't feel soft at all I feel like I need to put moisturizer on like now my face feels no and up here it just feels dry so I mean 
this doesn't say whether it's recommended that you use it more than like a week like use it more and you'll get the results it doesn't say that on there a lot of these other masks say recommended to use it two to three times a week blah blah, blah. then you'll see maybe you'll see different results um, but a lot of times when I use a sheet mask or like the mask I used last week you right away see a difference and with this mask I don't I mean I don't see a difference I feel like my skin looks the same um, before I put on the mask than I did after so um, as far as that I'm a little disappointed if you can tell because well not just that but it's like for it not to have done anything and after how long it took me to wash it off like that's not cool. So I definitely don't recommend that mask. I don't, what brand is this? Because I think I've tried their mask before and I don't think I've had a problem. Global Beauty Care. Um, I could, I wouldn't mind trying another one of their masks to see how it went. But as far as this one goes, it, this one did not work for me. But there's always the case that it is my skin, you know. If you guys wanted to try it out, you could still try it out for yourself and it could probably definitely work for you. So that is the mask for this week. Don't forget to let me know down in the comment section what mask you'd like to see for next week. And if it's, and if it's not one of the ones I have, you know, if it's one that you guys want to recommend, um, let me know and I can just pick it up. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thanks again for watching. If it is your first time to my channel, don't forget to check out some of my other videos down below. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And I'll see you on the next one. Bye.